Hello and many thanks for joining me Elvis for yet another Somerset Radio Review. Um, I've got something most people tend to sort of pass off uh, as craft beer. But I quite like a Guinness. Um, well, by the way, it's Guinness. Um, this is Guinness Original in a bottle. I've never actually had this from a bottle. It would be nice for me to get so you can see and read what is actually written on the bottle there. Um, I think actually you may be able to read that in my new kitchen. Um, or they maybe not. My camera still has its lighting issues as usual. Um, hopefully you can read that. If not, well, they're pretty readily available, so I'm sure you can buy a bottle and read it that way. Um, but yeah, I quite like Guinness. It's, it's just one of those beers. I love my dark beers, my stouts and porters, and you can pretty much guarantee you go into a pub and they've got Guinness. So if you want a dark beer, it's always available. Um, it is 4.2% um, ABV in a brown 500ml glass bottle. Um, this one has a screw cap, which is unusual for British bottles, so I will proceed to try and unbottle it. Um, why you would want to do it back up again, I don't know, because it's only 500ml a pint, so there's the crown there, or cap. Um, you, you would drink it, well, I would imagine, but um, there you go. Uh, I've got my famous Guinness glass from the early reviews that I used to do, before I had a massive array of glasses. And... I'm... I mean, the pub version is sort of like a when you buy it, buy it on cask or tap or what have you. It's normally really creamy, um, so I'm interested to see how they've actually managed to sort of get that in a bottle, which looks to be by they've massively highly carbonated it. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how the beer tastes from them doing that. I'm not going to get all of this in here because it's just going to foam up like mental. I, I don't think it's bottle conditioned or anything like that. I very much doubt it. Well it looks like a pint of Guinness. It's it's like jet black, slight sort of like ambery tones coming through there on the sides. Sort of two finger, nice sort of Guinnessy coloured tan head. Um, doesn't look as creamy. There's lots of big bubbles in there. Doesn't look as creamy as it does when you get it on uh, on keg or, or draft or what have you. Um, so let's see what it smells like. Well, it smells like a good normal original stout, um, like the sort of usual stout you would get. You're getting those sort of dark chocolate malt um, aromas you get with a normal stout. Um, to be honest, if someone put this in front of my nose blindfolded, um, I, 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 me blindfolded, not them. Um, I, I, I wouldn't necessarily know it was Guinness, to be fair. Um, it just smells like a random stout. It's, it, like I say, it's got those chocolate malt flavours. Slight fruity nuttiness. Generic stout flavour. Not in a bad way, it smells nice, but it just smells like a generic stout. So let's dig in and see what it smells, uh, tastes like. Cheers everyone. And it does taste like a generic stout. Um, like I say, once again, not in a bad way. It's got that nice sort of dry bitterness on the finish. It's woody, slightly fruity. It's got that definite chocolate malt flavour. You know there's chocolate malt in there, obviously, from the darkness of the beer. A little too carbonated for my liking. Very, very fizzy in the mouth. I'm not that keen on fizzy stouts. I don't think they need to be. You want to get the wash or the flavour around your mouth and with a lot of carbonation in there, I find that hard to do personally. Like I said, I think the way they've got that head on that is by mass pumping it full of CO2, which like I said, I don't think they need to do, um, leave that for soft drinks. Um, the one that started it all, brewed to perfection for over 200 years, crack it open, the unmistakable deep dark colour, the crisp, crisp hint of roasted barley, the fresh breeze of hops, the refreshing bite, the bittersweet reward, pure beauty, pure Guinness. Um, 
Well, yeah, but it's 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 nowhere near what it's like when you have it um, in a pub on draft. It, it tastes so much better in the pub. It's smooth, whereas this is not smooth. Um, www.guinness.com. I'm sure I don't need to mention that. Um, there's nothing else really in there. The Guinness you know, all trademarks and nonsense. Um, so really, I mean, there's not a lot of information on the bottle. Um, I'm not going to lie to you, I've had a few different um, ways of drinking Guinness, um, obviously Draft is my favourite, um, I did like the Guinness Foreign Extra which I reviewed on the Quaffa Beria with Terry Kay, um, Beer Goggles Reviews, we, we, we did a review of all of us, um, all the beer reviewers in the UK, we did a review of the Guinness Foreign Extra and that was fantastic. Uh, it was a lovely, lovely, like a, it was almost like an Imperial Russian style. It was amazing. Um, from a can with a widget, actually, it's quite likeable. This is passable. It's okay. Doesn't taste like Guinness at all. It tastes like a random stout, generic stout. Like I say, it's not bad, but it hasn't got that sort of Guinness trait that you would expect. I like it, um, but would I buy it again? Probably not. I would probably, I'd be probably more inclined to buy the can with the widget in that makes it sort of cream up nicely. Um, I would enjoy the rest of this beer, but ratings wise, I would probably give this a 4 out of 10. It's not brilliant. Um, my advice, avoid the bottle, buy the cans, or better still, go in the pub. However, the foreign extra in a bottle, uh, which is a 330ml bottle, is fantastic. Do get that. Um, 4 out of 10 for Guinness in a bottle. It's not really all it's cracked up to be. Thanks for watching me. Love to see your comments down there in the comments box, and hopefully you'll join me again soon for another review. Cheers, everyone.